So you have breast cancer. What test do you need? Hello, I'm Dr. Yip Cheng Ha and I am a breast surgeon. So how do I know whether you've got breast cancer or not? The commonest presentation is the breast lump. If you have a breast lump, the first person you see is the breast surgeon. The breast surgeon will order a mammogram and a breast ultrasound. And if there is a lump and it is suspicious or even not suspicious, you need a core needle biopsy to determine what this lump is, whether it is cancer or not. So the biopsy is going to tell us that this is breast cancer or it's a fibroadenoma which is not a cancer. So once it's breast cancer, a biopsy alone is not enough. Tests have to be done on this biopsy specimen in the lab to decide what type of cancer it is. So what tests are done? The most important test on the specimen that take out from you is the ER, which is estrogen receptor, PR, which is progesterone receptor, and HER2, which is human epidermal growth factor 2 receptor. These three will determine what type of cancer you have and the best treatment for you. Based on these three markers, ER, PR, HER2, we have to make sure that the pathology report is properly done. That means ER, PR, HER2 must be in the report. This costs more money. Okay, so once these tests are done, we know what type of cancer it is. We decide, does this patient need an oncologist first or can the surgeon go ahead and cut out the breast cancer? Once, once we determine all this, what is the next step? Now the next step is what we call staging. Staging means we want to know what stage you are in. That's stage 1, 2, 3, 4. And stage 4 means that it has spread outside the breast to the rest of your body. The commonest sites are the lungs, liver and bones. But I cannot see your lungs, liver and bones from outside. This needs special scans. Of course, the best staging is a PET CT scan but it's not available everywhere. So sometimes you just do a CT scan. What's the difference between CT and PET CT? PET CT is actually more specific for seeing whether the cancer has spread or not. Or the minimal staging will be just a chest x-ray and um, ultrasound abdomen and pelvis. A bone scan may be needed if the patient has bone pains to see whether the cancer has spread to the bones. The most important prognostic factor is, guess what? It is the lymph nodes. Are your lymph nodes involved or not? If the cancer is early stage and it's a good type of cancer, for example, the ER positive, PR positive, and the HER2 negative type, then it will be surgery first. And we would list you for operation. And the operation we decide is whether we take out your whole breast or we take out the lump. But whichever surgery we do, we also take out some lymph nodes to check whether your cancer has spread to the lymph nodes or not. Then the breast and the lump and the lymph nodes will be sent to the pathology lab for the pathologist to look at it. It takes about one week, but the report will come back. It will tell you very important things. Are the margins clear? Most important. What's the size of the lump? What is the grade of the cancer? Now, just now I talked about the margins. If we do a mastectomy, usually margins will be clear because the whole breast is removed. However, if we do a lumpectomy, when I do the surgery, I will take 1 cm around the breast lump, at least 1 cm. And then the pathologist will section it and they will see whether the margins are involved. So once all the report is back, then we will send you to the oncologist. And then the oncologist will decide on adjuvant therapy, which is maybe chemotherapy, hormone therapy, targeted therapy, radiotherapy. 
Now, these are all under the care of the oncologist. But the surgeon will usually see the patient six months later. That means after all the treatment is over. So, if you have breast cancer, you can also get a second opinion. Spray, speak to your doctor and see what other tests are needed. Very important to see what tests are needed. It's not enough just to have a biopsy that says cancer and that's it. If you find this video is helpful, subscribe and check out other videos about breast cancer.